Well, yeah, I don't know we're gonna have much choice but to turn around. I'm set. All right, well, good morning, YouTube. We are just heading out of camp. just a couple of miles up the road from where we found a road closure yesterday while we were coming along the route that was planned. So there's a huge 10 or 12 foot berm that they have built in. So we are gonna try to route around it. I'm hoping that I have something worked out on the GPS here. We are gonna find out. It's an adventure and that's the part of adventuring is the best laid plans may not always work out because sometimes road closures or weather or whatever just doesn't cooperate. Speaking of weather, we got a bit of a change. The last couple of days have been quite hot. The day we left, it was over 100. And this morning, it was down into the 50s and the clouds came in and it's kept some of the shade here. So it's actually a little chilly. I was going back and forth on whether I should put on the jacket or ride the jersey. As you can see, I chose the jersey. So we'll see. I figure that once I start working a little bit off-road that I will be glad that I made this choice. So that's really the plan for now is just kind of backtrack ourselves back to where the route was and where we camped and then see if this reroute works us back into the route after that road closure. So I don't know what you're gonna get. I don't know what episode this is because I haven't edited any of that, but it is the morning of day four, I believe. Is that right, Mike? Is it day four? Yes, Mike says day four over the Senna, you can't hear him. So that's the situation report. So we'll just get to doing some riding and pick it up there. And so here we are on the detour. So it is not much of a road, but it's there. Well, this may be the end of our route right here. Well, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna have much choice but to turn around. Yeah. I'm thinking we go uh, plan C, which is head back out to Seneca and go down and go down to where the spa area was and back and back in the forest service and the other one. What I am going to do though is set the GPS back to Seneca. So we made a quick stop. We're on the rear out. We were off from Major Road and we saw a sign for Cold Spring. So we're getting a little bit lower on water and we found this thing behind me. So we have all the water filter stuff because I'm not going to chance doing it out of that. It looks like a horse or a cow trough or something. But it's got fresh water flowing into it. So we're going to run that fresh water through the water filter and at least get water for today. Part of wild camping when you never know, you gotta fill everything when you can. So we've got a little system going here. We'll we'll show you the second part of it. Now we're filling it up. All these water bottles are what we drank since yesterday. So we didn't want to be low on water. I had two two liters left of water and Mike had one liter left of water. So we still have, that's how much water we're carrying. That's part of why we look so full on our bikes is there's a lot of space taken up because we each have over a gallon of water plus our camelbacks. So, but you need that out here because water is few and far between. You may go a day and a half or two days without finding a water source. All right, so we're just heading out of where that water spring was. So that's a, I think an important thing for people doing any backcountry stuff like this to have is the ability to filter water 
and find any water that water source that you get you can use because you just never know if it's going to be potable or not you know that was coming out of the ground it could have been a well and completely safe it could have been coming out of a creek just on the other side of the road and it's just a pipe and it's not safe so always better to err on the side of caution on that stuff So we're back onto this main gravel road, which probably does not look like much at all, but it is incredibly washboardy and this gravel is quite deep, so it keeps us having to pay attention because through some of these corners with the front end bounce and on those washboards and the loose gravel, it can surprise you. So I'm not sure how much farther we have on this main road till we tee back into the actual route that we're trying to <laughs> route ourselves around. We are back on the actual trail finally after all of that detouring. I still got some waypoints messed up that is trying to route me around. So I'm trying to get back on the waypoint so it's not trying to loop me around to hit ones I've missed, but we will get that sorted out. It's been pretty fun. It's good to feel like I'm back on the proper route instead of just trying to sort out closed roads. So this is our route right up here. 